This next exercise is called single leg touchdown. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate on my right leg. Uh, clearly you do both sides, but it progresses up as you get better at it. Okay, so we're going to start with the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my left foot off just to a hover position. That means it's just off the ground, but in place of where it was. So I'm not touching the ground, but importantly, I'm not swinging the leg back to stabilize to the side or to the front. It's just staying in place. Okay, longest explanation about what hover means. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna lift my foot just slightly to a hover, and then I'm gonna bend down at the waist to touch my knee, and I'm gonna come up squeezing my glutes, driving through the pelvis and do like a hip thrust at the end to really get some good glute activation and I'm gonna go down, okay, and back up. And I'm not looking up, I'm allowing my head to move with my body so I'm not putting strain through the neck. Now when you do three sets of 12 of touching knee, okay, I've done three hours of video ex exercise videos so you can see I'm getting a little bit fatigued here. But when you can do the three of 12 to the knee, what you would do next is you would move to mid shin, okay? So same thing, hover the foot, bend down, touch your mid shin, come back up, squeezing through the glutes, mini hip thrust, and away you go. And it's until you're nice and stable at touching the mid shin. A common mistake is to try and look up as you're doing it. Don't do that, allow your neck to move in line with your body. Okay, final stage, okay, is the full single leg touchdown, which is where we're gonna reach down to touch the big toe and then return to this, to this single leg stance, okay? So I'm gonna go down, touch my big toe, come all the way up, push through the hips, and continue like so. And this is the kind of speed, it's, it's not as slow necessarily, and by the time you're on your third set of 12, you're really gonna feel it. And you'd carry on like so, and then repeat onto the other leg, and that's single leg touchdown.